afternoon, evening, wherever you are. You're welcome to Lead Dutch's Culture. Today we are having a lovely video for you. This beautiful pink dress can be worn for birthday photo shoots or a ballerina presentation. And today we'll be teaching you how to do this beautiful costume or baby girl dress. This dress is a pink dress and the fabric used are crepe fabric. This crepe fabric need about half yard of it. Look at the crepe fabric. We'll be needing bias tape. We're needing this crochet band. For this crochet band, we'll be detaching this off and we'll use this for the dress. We need zipper and tool. This tool is about three yards. We need shock tape. Scissors and pattern ruler. On the pattern paper, the pattern paper, I put two pieces here for the two pieces back, and then this one is on fold for the front. We are cutting both the front and the back panel together. So this is the center front, this is the zipper allowance facing me. So you draw the starting point. Like this is where we'll be imputing our shoulder measurements. So we'll take from shoulder to waist. Shoulder to waist, we say it's 13. 13. We'll put one inch to join. That's about 14. So after cutting this on pattern paper, we just cut, place this pattern paper on our fabric and cut directly on the fabric. So this is it. 14. This is our shoulder measurement. The shite shoulder measurement is 10 divided by 2, that's 5. So this 5 here, and then we'll come down by 6. The ample area. So this 6 here. We just measure here to make sure that it's 5. Like this. And this. So on this point, we'll be putting an uh, ample curve. So after this, we put impute the child's bus measurement. Child's bus measurement is 22. 22 divided by 4, that's 5.5 plus half inch. We get 6. So we're placing 6 here. Then on the waistline, 22 divided by 4. The child's waist measurement is also 22 on the waist. So 22 divided by 4 is 5.5 plus half inch allowance, that's 6. So we connect these two points. From the bus point, the waist, to connect it down. This way, and then for arm or area, look for the midpoint. The midpoint is three, and then we'll connect from the boss point, the midpoint, and then to the shoulder point, like this. After connecting this way, um, so that's the ample of the pattern. So, next we're going to cut it. Marking the, the neckline. For the neckline, we'll be using 2.5 for the width and then 3.3 inch for the depth. That's for the front panel of the dress. For the back panel, we're going to mark it here also. We we'll use 2.5 and then 1.5 for the depth of the back panel. So after putting these points, we we'll just connect them like this. This for the back panel and then this is for the front neckline this is the front neckline so this is what we have the shoulder slant for the shoulder slant you come down by half inch on the ample area and then you just connect it half to zero points on the neckline so the neckline will go up like this with this you get your shoulder slant so this our, our pattern is now we'll be cutting out this pattern after cutting out the pattern we we'll place it on our fabric and cut out our upper part of our dress For the front panel of the dress, and these are two pieces for the back panel of the dress. 
it will be a zipper to connect them to the back two piece. So we'll place this pattern on our fabric and cut it out. So this is what we got after cutting. We placed our pattern paper on the fabric. And this is what we got. This is the front panel. And these are the back panels of the dress. So on this, we are going to be taking this to our sewing machine. We will first of all use this. We will sew the shoulder front sides facing each other. Connect the shoulders. After connecting the shoulders, we use a bias tip to turn the neckline. After turning the neckline, we will add for the back panel. This is what we will be doing. So I will be taking this to our sewing machine. I will first of all join the front panel. Make sure it's the right side facing each other to the back panel, like this, quarter inch, quarter inch. First, after doing that, I'll take my bias tape to turn the neckline and turn the amp hole. When I'm done with that, I'll come to show you how far we have gone. These are tools. The tool will be used for the damp part of our dress. And for that, we'll fold our, our tool six inch wide. So will be six inch wide. Let's just make sure it's equal at the T. We cut out the two six, six inch wide. This is three yards of two that is folded straight. We cut out six inch wide. This is what we get. Six inch. It's like a strip. Cut our two into strips of six six inch. I'll place it six another six inch and cut. These are going to fix the entire two. So these are all the strips of tools that we cut out. They are all in six inch wide. It's about three yards of two here. You call them six inch wide. So these these are all the strips of tools that we have. Next, we'll cut out a template. This is what I'll be using for the template. You know, the full length of our dress is 26. And from the shoulder to the waist is 13. So when you subtract 13 from 26, we we'll have 13 inch left. So that will be the damp part of the skirt, 13 inch. So we're cutting a template that is 13 inch. This template this is a carton. Could use anything that is a bit wide and long to the length of the dress you are making after you have removed the upper part of the dress. So with this template, I'm going to be tying these strips of two. So you can place two together. That's one strip it's about three yards. I'll place it this way. And just roll over. Roll over a template like this roll over so this is what we do after rolling over we cut at one edge just one edge we cut at one edge is what you get the strip we get is about this is the strip so we'll be doing this to all the remaining tools two strip remember we cut our, our two to be six inch wide and the full the, the number of two years about three yards you can use more depends on how fluffy you want your dress to be for this dress i'm using a three yards two, so i'm going to do this to all of the tools that i have here i'll take another to continue with the first process So yes, the outcome of the top is neatly turned with bias tape. I turned the, the neckline and then the ample area with bias tape. I did that the two ample area and the neckline. After that, look at the back. It's a zipper. I added a zipper to the back panel of the top. Look at it. Neatly add, attached is the zipper. So this is what we have, a, a beautiful upper part panel of the top. So what we'll be doing next is attaching the crochet band to the waistline of this top. 
after attaching the crochet band, it's on that crochet that will now add our two nets to make this little cute pink dress. So this is the crochet band. What I did is just to detach the rows from it. You know, it, it was attached like this before. So I detached the rows from it and then I shared the band into two halves. I did that because I want to add one part of this crochet band to the front waistline and the other part to the back waistline. Next, I'll just sew the side seam. Don't forget to turn it right side facing each other after attaching your crochet band on the waistline. Then you sew the side seam with half inch sewing allowance. I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'll do just that and show you what the outcome is. Some of our beautiful dress. As you can see, the, the, the tools have been attached to it, but I'm going to show you how I did that. This is the crochet band that I sewn onto the upper part of the dress. Look at the crochet band. In between the crochet band are holes. So I'm going to be taking the strip of two. You can take as many strips as you want. Me, I'm taking two. Depends on how fluffy you want your dress. So if you have more two to, 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 to put into it, you add more strips of tools. So I'm taking two strips of two, putting it together, and I'll just fold into two. I'll pass it through one O of the crochet band, bring it out from here, and then just knot the tool onto the band like this. These are the strips of two. You can take five, four, three, as much as you want, depending on, depending on how fluffy you want your dress. So now I took out two strips, fold it into two. It's very easy to do. You, you set the holes in between your crochets and then you pass your two through one hole and pass it to the other hole. This, this is the two that I passed into it. So you take the rest of the two and just knot onto the crochet. And this is what you get. I just detach the rows and then use it to adorn the dress. So this is a beautiful dress. I hope you like it. It's very easy to make and it's very beautiful. If you like our video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So that anytime we upload beautiful videos, you'll be the first to be notified. Thank you very much for watching. Ah! 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 Ah!